Hello everybody, my name is Natasha Cowell and this is the I Buy the Tide Promotions vidcast. In this episode we will be talking about Half. This band was interviewed and that interview has been released on Monday, July 20th. And if you want to go take a look at that, please click the link below to that blog post. Just to give a little bit of some background information on Half, they are based in New Jersey. And their first EP, Hive, was released in 2015. But I do want to let you know on October 2nd of 2020, there is going to be a re-release or remastered release of Hive for their five year anniversary. And with that, they did add in a bonus track called Atropus, which you can also listen in the blog post. We did link a video to that song and it's pretty fucking awesome. So please go take a listen to that song. And guys, if I did mess up the name of the song, please forgive me, I can only read so good. In 2019, the band did release their newest album of Rot and Ruin. I will link the Bandcamp page in the description below if you are interested in purchasing that album or if you're interested in uh, pre-ordering the Hive remastered release that will have that additional, that bonus track that I uh, mentioned earlier. And I'm actually going to link all of their social media uh, in the description below. It's also going to be on the blog post, which once again will be in the description below. So please check all of that out and um, let's get into a little bit more about half. All right. Where are your glasses, kids? Okay. So, Half was formed in 2013. I have seen some sources that did say 2014, but more than not, I'm seeing more 2013. A band was formed by Frank, who is on guitars, vocals, AJ, who is on drums, and Greg, who is on the bass and vocals as well. And then later on, Pete Brown uh, on guitar. And Pete Brown was actually the member of the band who did uh, do the interview um, for us. So thank you once again, Pete, for doing that. I don't think we can thank you enough for that. And the, however, the first EP was Hive that was released in 2015. In the interview, uh, Pete did say uh, Half started as kind of a side project or passion project for Frank and AJ. Uh, Frank once again is the the uh, guitar vocal and AJ is the drummer. Uh, prior to half, Frank, AJ, and Pete were in an instrumental tech death band called Aphidius and Greg and AJ were playing together in their rock band The American Standard. Uh, Frank had a handful of songs written that just did not fit in with Aphidius and uh, with that style and he wanted to do something more straightforward that also had vocals. Uh, they pulled in Greg and the three of them wrote Hive EP and put it online and it caught Willow Tip Records attention and they offered them a deal. That's actually pretty fucking awesome. Um, to get a deal that like like that is amazing. I only know of one other instance that uh, that a band got like a, a deal just kind of out of nowhere, um, kind of out of nowhere. Uh, a band that I know, a uh, local band from where I'm from, they, I think they only did like one show and they got a record deal. Like what the fuck? That's awesome. So just to put out just an EP and get a record deal, can, guys, I, That's pretty fucking impressive. And from the looks of it, you guys are still a part of that record company. So congrats, man. That's pretty fucking dope. And then later on, Pete did join the band. So that's pretty fucking cool. And there was one other part of this interview that I read that I wanted to make note of because uh, during this time of quarantine, shows aren't happening. Um, 
I mean, m more and more bands are doing live streaming of shows, like in like empty theaters. I think Drop, if I remember, Dropkick Murphys did not only one for their um, St. Patrick's Day show, they also did one um, Midway, Midway Park. That was pretty fucking cool. Um, if you didn't see that, get on it. Um, but it does also turn out that Half has been uh, doing live streams on their Facebook, um, Instagram. They've also been doing some Twitch streams. So if you do have Twitch, please go check that out. If not, or you're not sure if you want to, um, to do that, they also have some of their Twitch streams uh, videos on their YouTube page. So go take a look at those. It is pretty pretty cool to see that they are doing this and let's see Pete did recently do a uh, Rotten Ruin playthrough guitar playthrough on Twitch and I did watch a little bit of that that is pretty awesome and you can interact with the with the members of the bands doing that um, and that's pretty cool that that's, you know, that's where we're at in this age of social media that you can interact with band members. That's pretty fucking cool. Uh, once again, I will be linking all of half social media in the description below. And, um, yeah, that it was a, once again, it's a really good read. Please read it. Um, if not, I hope that. Um, kind of giving you some excerpts about the band um, does encourage you to go check them out. I will also post a couple of links to some videos in the description below. If you're, if you don't want to do the search yourself, don't worry, I got you. And on top of that, um, speaking of social medias, I will also link the I Buy the Tide promotion social medias in the description below. And the once again, we want to help plug bands. Now, if you're not getting any view from I Buy the Tide Promotions, don't worry about that. Uh, we do want to help plug bands of any genre. Um, please, uh, once again, there will be a, an email, Corey at iBuyTheTide.com and please email Corey and in the description below I will once again put what all we would like to have to plug your band. We have not received any emails yet and that's fine. I know it's a little timid. You might be scared. Don't worry guys. We are here to help you out. And once again with I Buy the Tide there is merchandise. I am wearing my tie-dye, the I Buy the Tie-dye t-shirt and I believe that one sold out too. I know, I'm sorry, I keep promoting sold out shirts. I can't help it, but I'm ahead of, I'm ahead. I'm ahead of you. I can't help that. All right, everybody, let's start getting these comments rolling once again. And this week, the question is, what was the last album that you purchased? For me, it was the Birthday Massacre Diamonds album. And I'm looking forward to uh, see what everybody else has purchased last, okay? Well, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to the I By The Tide YouTube channel. Uh, click the bell to get notifications whenever we upload any videos next. And we'll catch you on the flip side.